everybody, I'm back, and I'm here, and I'm really hyper, hyper, not hyper, hyper, because I just took a nap, and it was a good nap, and, uh, oh. It's Joseph. Wait till you see this. Come to the projection room. No, Joseph, I have a thing I have to do first. I'm sorry. I have to call county administration first. Uh. Don't want it. Pushing the buttons. Here we go. I have a touch screen, so I could literally just push the buttons, I think. Okay. Hi. I'm looking for the blueprints for the Royal Palladium Hello, Theater. Madeline. Do you have them on file? Are you a county employee? No, just a citizen on a mission. Okay. Well, we do keep blueprints on file. Let's see. The computer says there are two sets for the Palladium. 1923 and 1956. Do you have a preference? Of course we do. 1923, please. The originals. Would you like to hold while I retrieve them? Sure, thanks. Not really, but okay. I like how the sweet jazz music is mixing with the game audio music. Okay, now it's not. I'm holding for the... Oh. Yes, I'm still here. It's very strange, ma'am. They're gone. Gone? You mean someone checked them out? Oh, we don't allow people to check them out. You can bring the blueprints to our reading room and study them there, but they're not supposed to leave the building. I can't imagine where they could be. Hold on, let me see if Charles knows. Oh snap! Somebody stole the blueprints we need! How inconvenient! <sighs> Ma'am, this is so strange. Charles says some guy was just in here looking at them a few days ago. What did he look like? Hold on. Put me on hold again. Just put Charles on the phone. If he knows. <sighs> Hello? Charles said the guy had a hat on. He never really got a look at the guy. Was he young or old? Hey, Charles. Young or old? Energetic is all Charles remembers. Hmm. Okay. Well, my name is Nancy Drew. I'm working on some things over here at the Royal Palladium. Could you do a search for the blueprints? Sure thing. I'll put in a find request. Call back in five to seven business days. Next uh, week? Uh, oh, I'm afraid I don't have that kind of time. Is there any way to expedite the search? I'm afraid not. The guy who does our misplaced material searches just returned from a month of paternity leave, and he's swamped. I see. <laughs> this is urgent? Yes, it's urgent, all right. But I'll figure something out. Thanks, Madeline. Good luck. Bye. Okay, so now we need to go and see what Joseph wants. So let's run up here. Woohoo! Run up here, run up here. Oh, oh, I just clicked. Okay. I'm just clicking at nothing. Joseph! What is it? Take a look at this. <gasps> oh my gosh! Maya's press pass! Brady found it. This should be enough evidence to get the police over here, don't you think? I should think so. Give the police a call, and then you better go back to your hotel and get some rest. No! Just when I have a lead? No way! I've got to keep searching. You won't be any help to Maya if you get too tired to think. <sighs> well, I guess you have to stay here. Go ahead and use the phone in the ticket booth. I'll be down in a minute. Well, what if whoever kidnapped her just decides to leave, like, overnight? We've got to lock the theater down and nobody comes or goes, except the police. I cannot be bothered to look up the phone number for the police if it doesn't show me right here. <laughs> Just call that one. Missing persons unit, please. Please hold missing persons. This is Ramsey. Hi, Sergeant Ramsey. This is Nancy Drew. I spoke to you earlier today about the disappearance of my friend, Maya Wen. <laughs> Hello, Miss Drew. You're calling to tell me that you found your friend, I hope. I wish that were true, sir. No, she's still missing. I'm calling to report that I have the evidence you asked for. Yeah. What did you find? Someone else here at the theater found Maya's press pass. It was clipped to her shirt when she went into the dressing room. It must have been torn off when she was kidnapped. Or it fell off. Or she just tossed it. Maya is very serious about her work, Sergeant Ramsey. She never goes anywhere without that pass. And she would not willingly leave it behind. Is the past damaged in any way? No. Was anything disturbed in the area where it was found? 
I don't know. I'm not the one who found it. Okay, well, thanks for checking in, Miss Drew. If Maya hasn't turned up by tomorrow, we'll definitely be out to investigate. Someone <sighs> will take a look at the press pass then. But you said that if I found evidence, you'd investigate the theater today. I'm sorry, Miss Drew, but we can't go chasing after every kid who decides to take a leave of absence. The vast majority of missing juveniles disappear. She's not even a juvenile. Technically, she's an adult. Good and ready. You have to believe me. Maya would never play this kind of game. Nicholas Falcone said he thinks somebody is using her to make a statement. Nicholas Falcone? Is he involved in this? Are you involved with him? Habit is demonstrating against the demolition in front of the theater. Nicholas has set up shop in the lobby. I've spoken to him. I'm not involved with him. Are you aware of the allegations against Mr. Falcone's character, Miss Drew? Allegations? Nick Falcone operates according to his own rules. He'll do just about anything to save a theater, and he's not afraid to use extreme tactics. What kind of extreme tactics? You name it. Vandalism, sabotage, chaining himself to demolition machinery. What? Is that right? And last year, there was a situation over in Nashville. Just when the oldest theater in the city is about to be torn down, and mind you, had it is there in full force, a girl goes missing. So happens she's the daughter of the demolition boss. They go crazy looking for her. There's a call, just like the one you described. Anyway, to make a long story short, the demolition is called off. And three weeks later, the girl is seen snuggling up to Falcone in a Memphis coffee shop. Are you suggesting Nicholas is staging this thing? I'm just saying that there's more to situations like these than meets the eye. Nick Falcone is a real operator, and he likes to humiliate the police. I'm not going to jump on the bandwagon here with this whole royal palladium thing and let him make my unit look like a bunch of chumps. I see. So you aren't going to have any credit with us if you join ranks with him. Does he have a criminal record? Oh, minor stuff. Disorderly conduct, trespassing, yada, yada, yada. But Nick Falcone can slime his way out of a sticky situation like no one I've ever seen. Unfortunately, there's no jail sentence for being a royal pain in the neck. There are no good citizenship awards for it either. Look, I know you're worried, but for now, there's nothing we can do. And there's nothing you can do either. Why don't you go home and get some rest? I'm sure you've had a long day. Well, this has been very informative, Sergeant Ramsey. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Good night, Miss Drew. Okay, so once we leave the booth, it should go to day two, I believe. Yeah, okay. I heard the whole thing, Nancy. Go get some sleep. I'll keep an eye on things till morning. Okay. Excuse me, excuse me. I gotta get in, please. What the... Wow. That is very, very rude. Wow. That was really just... Why? What the? Why do you need the? I don't remember giving anybody this much information. But yeah, about for his new mission destiny. Blah, blah, blah. Wow, really? Wow, wow. I'm sorry you had to see that read, Nancy. It's disgusting. This is one creepy kidnapper. That's for sure. Stay tuned. Let's hope oh. the kidnapper just did this. Can't get up. <laughs> like I'm not scared enough. Like I don't know time is running out. The phone's been ringing off the hook all morning. I don't know how the press got a hold of this, but they're all over it like ants on a picnic. Where did those missing posters come from? I can't say for sure, but I can make an educated guess. Are you thinking <laughs> of a certain Hollywood agent we know? Uh, can you believe so. the way she diverted all of the attention away from Maya and used the poster to promote Brady as the big hero? This shouldn't be happening. It's all backwards. Exactly. So let's just start asking him questions. Here we go. So where will you go after the demolition? Are you planning to retire? Greasewood, Arizona. My brother Jake is there. It's a tiny town with no movie theater, so we're going to put one on the map. I got some money saved. Um, the history of this theater is so rich. I'm surprised the city of St. Louis isn't more interested in preserving it. Well, they are interested. 
The Historical Society's been working like the dickens to get this place declared a landmark. But someone downtown has been stalled. Huh. They're awfully close. Who is this J.J. Thompson character anyway? Old J.J. Owner, visionary, wheeler dealer. J.J. loved a magic show. He had this place built with those kind of big spectacle shows in mind. J.J. also happened to love the sight of his own mug in the mirror. <laughs> you can tell by the way he uh, ornamented the auditorium with his own head. <laughs> The police told me Nicholas Falcone is known for using extreme tactics to further his political causes. Why are you letting him use the lobby as his headquarters? Nicholas has been hanging around this theater since he was a little boy. Aww. I know how torn up he is about the theater. This will be over soon enough, and then he'll go home. I don't think he's dangerous, for gosh sakes. Gotta go now. Aww. Bye. Okay, is there anything new? So it feels like we've explored the whole theater already. But I haven't found anything like it looks like we found everything we need to find but we haven't oh Nicholas is here uh, I forgot to set a timer I have no idea how long I've been going uh... oh well let's talk to Nancy, him for a minute what's the 411 thanks to you the police yeah. think this whole kidnapping is a hoax that's all hearsay Nancy <laughs> they got no witnesses no testimony no nothing I don't care if you've been convicted or not. Who are you? I am not an eco-terrorist, and I would never orchestrate the temporary disappearance of anyone who wasn't in on the plan and down with the cause. <laughs> the Wrath of Nancy Drew. <laughs> Ever hear of the Wrath of Nancy Drew? It's not a pretty sight, Nicholas. Not pretty at all. All right, Officer Nancy. Chill out, will you? I'm on your side. Joseph told me that the St. Louis Historical Society is in the process of trying to declare this building an historical landmark. They've been in that process for years. Aww. It's all just a big wad of red tape, a bunch of bureaucratic hocus-pocus. Had it's about action, not paperwork. Catch you later. On the flip side. Well, I doubt that's going to happen in time. Anyway, so... Yeah, that's pretty sad, because this place could really, it would really be cool. Like, you could do, like, a tour of it, like, museums or something. That would be really awesome. 